Hi y'all, sorry for the delay. It's been a little crazy with holidays and then school starting back really quick and starting my externship for my last semester and Gemini, please don't, you can see I'm actually in my room instead of my office this time. Yeah, Gemini, thank you. Can you go lay down right here? Class right here. He's gonna, yeah, and when he moves around, it's jiggling the camera. You can see the top of the dresser next to me. Let's see if this works. We're gonna try it. Let's see, I'm trying, I don't want this pinched up so far so you can see the Kong box. So, I'm actually kind of hoping to do two videos this weekend. Um, first, because we just got our new Kong box, Jim and I. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I really should get, I have a tripod somewhere. I'm just not sure where it is. Probably should use that for my phone, but um, yeah. You tell it's been a little crazy. And no, I'm not wearing that anymore, but it still hurts like heck to bend. So, you know, fun, fun. Um, but, eh, sorry, I'm fiddling with the camera. Let's try it, okay if he doesn't do anything again um so yeah i'm hoping for another video just kind of a it'll be a story time but there's also some information i want to share with y'all there um just real life and things especially in related to service dogs and training and stuff so um i will hopefully get that done this weekend we'll see i've got school assignments and other stuff so <laughs> we'll see but in the meantime let's do our new Kong box so hopefully i'll be able to get in this one a little easier than last time Oh, for real. You know, these tear strips are a great concept, but, and there went half of it. <laughs> okay, and I didn't bring scissors in here with me, so we'll see how this works. Ah, okay, so, all right, so yeah, of course the Wolf Wolf Happiness delivered. And, oh, cool, well, that's kind of cool. Don't knock the camera over, dude. Um, just our little cards, of course. And this, Kong Kong 2021, or Kong Kong. Kong 2021 calendar. As you know, I'm not going to edit this. Um, dogs need to play. And oh, there's pictures of dogs with Kongs. Looks like there's a uh, mm. December, there's a Great Dane on there. A blue Great Dane, it looks like. So that's kind of cool. 16 month calendar. Of course, they show a few months other than just the 12 months. So neat. That's kind of a cool thing. All right, let's see what's in here. That's Gemini's land right there. Like, um, what's that? Oh, we got another one of these. I'm not going to complain. It's <laughs> hard to keep this, just one dog happy with this. It's the Kong Tennis Rewards. Um, you put Kong treats in here or other dog treats and they roll it around in the treats. It's a treat dispensing. Um, they, I mean, and this is a large version, obviously. Would you just, okay, you're, move, you're moving the camera. I'd like the camera to not point quite that high. Okay, just go on. <laughs> um, obviously he likes this. There's one of the other one that we have is in my office. And you know, I don't remind, I don't remind, okay. I don't mind Kong repeating some toys because they're, I mean, they're toys. I honestly can't think of any of their toys that my dogs don't like. So, um, and, oh, this one does some neat scissors. Yeah, I'm gonna roll this hopefully far enough away that he's, yeah, right. We'll see if he's jiggling. Yeah. He's jiggling. As you can tell, I'm sitting on the bed and he's jiggling the whole thing. Gabe, uh, Gabe wow, that's my son. Um, Gemini. All right, let's see. The other toy, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is nice, I'm happy about this. Would you back up a little bit? It is Kong Tails. So it's a Kong, but it's got the tails attached. Um, yeah, these are nice. It's like a tug toy. Now, bear in mind, my personal preference is the time I've been training. I have no problem playing tug of war with the dog, as long as I, I, I do not let them win. Period, end of story. I don't ever want them to think, hey, I'm the boss or anything like that. Um, so you can imagine, he actually, all of my dogs, but especially the bigger ones, I always teach him, hey, give it or let go. Um, so they don't get to win. Sorry, but no, they don't get to win. And there's, I can't open that without scissors. So, but that's a, yes, the large one. That's a nice toy. Very happy about that. And he would, he's standing there. He's like, could you give it to me? No, not yet. All right. And then for our treats, we have oh, more Kong Ziggies. The large version chicken recipe. Really? That's Gemini's leg. Would you move? <laughs> so, more Kong Ziggies. And, oh yeah, the Kong Bites. These are pretty standard. Uh, chicken recipe. Mine really like these, so. Um, and our squeezy peanut butter, banana, and bacon. Now, he likes this. I've had a couple other dogs, that, not just mine, but some that I've shared some with, that are like, meh. Okay, I will say peanut butter, banana, and bacon's a weird combo, at least for us humans, but you know, who knows? Yes, I know you want that toy. I'm gonna put the box down out of the way. Um, so, you know, 
if the dog, he likes it, but meh. Then again, this is about the closest to people food he ever gets. So <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so yeah, um, oh, maybe I should just add story time here and tell him what's been going on. Should I? Are you going to come be a good boy? You're not getting this right now. I still have an open one out in the other room. Go get the other toy. So I hope everybody's doing well. Like I said, it's been a little crazy getting my externship going and my last semester of law school. Yes, we're gonna, hi. Um, this is like he would stand on the, the ottoman in the office. Yeah, no, he, now he's on my bed. Um, but uh, so been a little busy and also, yeah, we'll just go ahead. I don't know about story time, but we'll at least give you a little update other than that. Um, we introduced y'all to Bear a while ago. Um, I did temperament test Bear. Bear temperament tested out at eight weeks old phenomenally for everything. One of the reasons, and I'll just be 100%, one of the reasons y'all have not seen training videos of him is because with the exception of, hi there, um, with the exception of maybe the first couple of days um, where he was picking up on some things, he, he liked the light switch thing and he liked sit, but that was about it. Um, and so he, it became apparent pretty quick that it was going to be an interesting time training him. Um, extremely stubborn and I'm you know the Pyrenees and lab he I, I strongly suspect he might have had American lab and no offense to him but it's a different breed they're the American labs they're cousins to your breed standard Labrador retriever but they're bred pretty much totally for hunting um, and so the personality is different it's very different and they're smaller and um, I, I think that that's the lab he was he wasn't an English lab like like Aslan that y'all have seen but uh went through obviously time training him, worked with him so hard, but honestly, and this, it kills me because not only is it the first time it's happened to me personally for a dog I've trained in about 10 years, but, um, a little over 10 years, but it also, because he was for my husband, um, I had to wash him out about three weeks ago. I, I probably should have washed him out a month before that. Honestly. Um, I have tried everything under the sun that I've done. <laughs> this one's cute. Um, but it just, there's there no way. I mean, personality wise from eight weeks old to what his personality turned into, he was not, he was not gonna make it as a service dog. Um, he found a, we, we had to rehome him because I'm not paying a pet fee and we just don't have space and stuff. So um, we did rehome him, found him a great home. They've got, they had two acres of fenced in yard and you know, he loves it already. Figured out how to open their back door first night, which doesn't surprise me. He likes doing that with his paws, um, but uh, it just, you know, you have to, as a service dog trainer, whether you're training for others, whether you're training for yourself, you have to be willing to wash them out if they're not going to make it. And I'll be honest, it's, it, it, it sucks, but yes, I, I went probably a month longer than I should have with him, but that's just part of that's my determination. And part of that is I'm hard, really hard on myself. And so for me to sit here and think, okay, you know, I temperament tested this puppy. I did all the training. He's for my husband, which you can't have the camera. Um, and then for him to not make it, that was, it was very it was a personal failure in my eyes. Um, not every, I mean, there's most service dogs, I, I would probably say even the ones that are bred, you know, the, the organizations that breed and, and have their, you know, their breeding stock and they train them and everything. They still have about a 50% rate of the puppies that are born, not making it to a full service dog. Um, so, you know, that's, it happened. I hate it. Um, we we're not in her. I mean, cause my husband does need, He's, he's five and a half years older than me and I'm older than I look. Um, so I didn't want to wait. Plus I have, you know, I've got my last semester and I'm taking the bar in July. So that's like six to eight hours of studying per day, six days a week after I graduate in May, actually, after I finish classes in April, um, mid April. But, um, we actually were not in a hurry. Um, but again, we're, because we want the, the puppy, the dog eventually to pull his wheelchair and stuff. We're looking at bigger breeds. Um, so I will, I will have an update on that. Um, kind of had one fall in our laps that was, was not eight weeks old. She's actually four, four months as of last week. Um, but we've had her a little over a week. Um, like I said, we weren't in a hurry. It just kind of happened. Uh, I will introduce you to her. I am already starting to film some of her training sessions. Um, I'm not gonna tell you a breed or anything yet. She is, I mean, I will say nine day. Don't get me wrong. Bear's, Bear was a sweetheart. He just wasn't built for this type of work. And it killed me to have to do that. But, you know, you have to be willing to do that as a trainer. Again, whether you're training for yourself or others, you have to be willing to do that. And 
you know, I've been fortunate in the last 10 years. I haven't had to do that. I've been so particular about training and making, keeping people accountable and picking the right puppies, but it does happen. And you know, I, I should have known that was going to happen eventually one, somewhere. Um, but yeah, that I, I'm not going to deny that was tough. So I will introduce you to her probably, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Um, she's an absolute doll. Um, she won't be as big as Gemini, but she is a giant breed. She's not a Pyrenees, but I will show you. She's a, she's a doll. She's actually my husband's dream breed. So, um, that, like I said, it fell into our laps and it just, yeah. Um, so I will show you that later. Um, while we're videoing, might as well just give you a longer video. Um, story time. And of course, this was before the pandemic stuff started, but I have to tell you the story. Um, when we're still on campus, it was hilarious. We, uh, I was, I think, I don't think it was my class. I think it was actually teaching assistant for a class. And when you have three hour classes or even two hour classes, you usually get at least one break with the three hours, you usually get a break every hour for 10 minutes or so. Um, and the, the class I was teaching assistant for our break was different than one of the other classes around the corner in the hall. And so I, uh, I had walked by this class and then walking back through it because I'd taken Gemini out. Uh, this is on the third floor of our, our campus building. And um, coming back to the class after, at the end of our break, I walked by this classroom and the door is open. And it's actually, it's one of our bigger, one of our main classrooms on, the, on our campus. But uh, as I'm walking by with Gemini at my side, I hear, holy crap, a horse just walked by. Now bear in mind, my campus is not big. Pretty much everybody at least knows of Gemini if they don't know him. And so, so you know, the class here. But it turns out that this is not just the way my law school works. They've got, we've got campuses in other places. And so if there's, you know, a few students here, a few students at that campus that are taking the same class, they can do it. You know, the, the other students will go to a room on their campus when they're not online with the pandemic, of course. Um, they would go on campus to a room where they would pipe it in via video. And so the people on my campus were understood what they knew who he was talking about. Everybody else is kind of, huh? And I just, I honestly, I died laughing. I just kept, kept walking. Well, the class has TA4 got out a little, a few minutes early that same day. And as we were walking back by, um, and I think it was, we, we went the, the next break, it kind of went, Oh, there goes the horse again. And you know, again, I was laughing, but as we were leaving that day, um, we went to walk by and, I hear the professor in this other classroom that had been so funny. It's like, oh my gosh, there's a horse again. And so we stopped outside the classroom door. And he's like, could you come here for a minute? Because apparently the, the people on the video camera from other campuses were like, what is he talking about? And so he's like, can you, can you come in here for a minute? I said, yeah, sure. So Gemini follows me in. And, and he's like, okay. And he turned the camera around so they could see Gemini standing there with me at my side instead of he's like this is what I'm talking about and of course then you get the reaction why is there and he, Gemini's in full vest on campus like he usually is and if people why is there a dog on campus and everybody said, it's a service dog it's a sir oh you know of course you get that that's a big service dog but that was it was hilarious now kind of cool side note right before we left the the classroom when after all this happened um I had told Gemini to heal and we go to turn to walk out and all of a sudden Gemini stops and I'm still going the opposite way. And he stops and looks at the professor and I see him sniff in the air. Now bear in mind, Gemini is, I've shared this with you, he is, is sent trained for a low blood sugar alert. Um, and he has alerted on other people before. It's not 100% like me, but it's happened. Um, but usually it's, Maybe I'm used to the way he acts with me. So him to just kind of stop and sniff and look at the guy for a minute. I'm like, Jim, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Completely ignored me, which, you know, if he is alerting, that's a completely, that's acceptable. I'm good with that. Walks up to the guy. And of course, this guy's taller than me because Jim and I can pretty much reach my chin without really jumping up to, so he doesn't have a, Aslan had a, an alert when I was standing up and a different alert when I was sitting down. Jim and I doesn't have that because he's so tall. Well, he's trying to get to this guy's face. And so he's like jumping up. He wouldn't put his paws on, but he's jumping up trying to get to it. And the guy's like, whoa, professor's going. And I said, no, he's, oh, wait a minute. That's what he's doing. It took me a minute. I said, wait a minute. And I said, he's, uh, um, it looks like he's alerting. And he finally got to his face and nudged him. And the guy looks at him and says, what is he alerting to? I didn't do anything. I said, no, he said, I said, he's blood sugar alert. And the guy looked at him and said, I'm diabetic. No, no, I, you know, he wore some sort of monitor. And he's like, no, I would know that. Apparently we get out of the classroom, it's like, okay, well, and I basically had to drag Jim because once Jim and I alerts, he's been taught you stay right there. And he was just not leaving. And I'm going, okay, look, we got to go. So we get 
out of the classroom, down the stairs, and I had stopped to talk to our, the security guards that are at the front desk. And that class ended just a couple minutes after that. And that professor comes down, he says, okay, so apparently I was not watching things and I was low. And so Jim and I had alerted to this professor and you know, it was, the professor was, no, no, no. Yeah, he was low. So that was kind of cool. Um, so that all happened in the same day. And of course then, <laughs> before the pandemic, anytime we walk by that classroom, hi horse. Oh, there goes the horse, hi horse. <laughs> Just, just made me laugh. I will say, and I think I've shared this with y'all before. I honestly cannot think of a single time I've been out in public with Gemini where we've actually, you know, gotten out of the car, gone into somewhere where I have not gotten at least one horse or saddle comment every time. <laughs> life with a Great Dane, life with a giant breed, as tall as he is. Um, but yeah, just some of the fun stuff that you have when you have service dogs that are the size he is. Um, but at the same time, he, he did his job with someone else, no less. And I was proud of him, but so hopefully we got the, you know, the Kong box, the, Hey, look, stuff happens like it did with bear. And then the fun story. And, um, I have not got any updates on the airline stuff yet. I actually, one of my professors, he said week three or four, he wanted to uh, get together and talk with me online, of course, um, and see what we could come up with there. So this is week three. Um, but I've had a really crazy week and obviously it's Friday. Hopefully I can upload this tonight, but um, probably I'm gonna reach out to him. I'll email him this weekend and I should get a response early next week and see what we can come up with. Cause um, yeah. So I hope y'all are doing well. Like, subscribe, hopefully the, the new perspective and all the jiggling that he did right now. Of course he's flopped out right there. Just He's not asleep, but he's just laying there like, yeah, whatever. But um, hopefully y'all are doing well and we will see you soon. Thanks y'all, bye. Okay, we're gonna add this onto the end of the, the video just for the heck of it. First of all, this was a flyer that actually came in the little calendar. I just opened it. Um, this is cool, I wish we could afford it right now, but I really like this. There's a Kong travel, it's a five piece travel bag. It includes travel bag, food storage bags, travel bowls. Um, it's two food storage containers, two food grade foldable travel bowls. Whoa, Gemini's kicking that the camera's sitting on, sorry. Internal and external pockets, washable, water resistant fabric, uh, travel bolts fold and zip close to, sa to save space, and then convenient way to keep all your, oh man, I would love to get one of these, maybe down the road. Um, let's see, whoops, let's get back on the camera. So yeah, th this is the travel bowls, I think, that fold, and then the containers and shows you stuff stored in there. Um, man down the road, because something like when we're actually back in person and I'm having to work in an office and stuff, that would be perfect for taking with Gemini, especially if we have long days. So I figured, and no offense, we all have our preferred breeds, um, but I figured I would show you, oh, of course, I get this today, which is December, not December, wow, January 22nd. <laughs> it says 16 month calendar. Well, it's got uh, September, October, November, December of 2020 in the front. I didn't get this in my last con box, so, or any of the others, so, you know. Um, but uh, there's some there's some really cute. Okay, so this is a cute puppy. This is an English bulldog puppy. This is January, so month's almost over, but that's okay. That's cute. Um, and then I'm just I'm just highlighting my favorite. And of course, most puppies are cute. That's kind of a cute puppy with the little. Those are we don't have one of those by Kong, but it's pretty cool little gadget. Um, and that's actually that's March. That's my birthday month. So and oh, okay. That's a husky puppy, or at least mostly husky. It may it may be a mix? I'm not sure. But I'm very obviously part husky at least. Um, and the red, the cinnamon huskies, those are pretty. Um, I bred Siberian huskies many years ago, and we actually one of our litters we had two cinnamon and white. They're so pretty. Um, so that's April. Let's see. Eh, we'll skip that one. Again, no offense to anybody's any particular. I just have my preferences. Okay, this is a lab puppy. It looks like. And that is July. Oops. Cute with the Kong in their mouth. Maybe I'll get a, some pictures with the, uh, and each of these have recipes, Kong recipes for Kong stuffing, which is kind of cool. This looks like, this is some kind of healer or, oh, I can't think of, I could, I could look it up easily. It's basically a really large type. It, they look like beagles, but they're large and it's not a harrier. I cannot think of the name of that breed, but that's a cute dog. Going with it, and we have one of these bones actually that we got from Kong, but it's black, so it's the extra strong. Um, and that's August. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, there's a chocolate lab puppy. 
Now, I will say, I don't know for sure. That could be an American lab. The American lab, a couple of differences. The American labs have are much skinnier, much smaller than the English labs. Um, the heads are much narrower. They don't have the big deep chest that the English labs have. This could, I mean, Aslan, when he was a puppy, he didn't, I mean, and he was 100% English lab, but he, um, he, his head wasn't super wide like some of the puppies. So this could be either way, but I'm just showing you. You see the narrower head just in case that, that head does not broaden out. Cute chocolate lab puppy. That's September. That is Gemini's birth month, and that is also our new little one's birth month. We're just a few days apart, although obviously a couple years too. And oh, that looks like an Australian Shepherd. 380. And of course the black Kongs are the extra strength. So both the lab puppy and the Australian Shepherd have the extra strong. Doesn't surprise me. That's October. Oh, November, that's a Roddy puppy. You know, and I know Roddy's can get a bad name, but they are good dogs. Um, they have to be trained properly, they have to be handled properly, but they are really good dogs. And that was November. And yes, there's December. That's a Great Dane. Of course, with the Black Kong, that does not surprise me a bit. But that's a Great Dane. That's a Blue Dane. That would be my second choice in color after the Blue Merle that Gemini is. Um, so, cute. So that's the, the little calendar. And it's, you know, it's small, but I'll probably put that up in my office just for the heck of it. Um, so thank you, Kong. That was fun. And of course, you know, we... I have still not yet been disappointed with the Kong box. Um, they are amazing. Okay. I also had to read this. The recipe that came with this Kong box, birthday carrot cake. Now, again, I probably wouldn't, I mean, the likelihood of me ever doing this because minor service dogs, even as I'm being retired, he's not getting people food. Um, but it's uh, oatmeal, shredded carrots, applesauce, cinnamon, cream cheese. And then you're going to mix all those together, um, freeze it, put it into Kong Classic and freeze it. And you freeze it for a greater challenge. You could just mix it all together, stick it in if you don't want that much of a challenge. But so yeah, that's the recipe. That's cute. But I figured I would share that with y'all. And man, yeah, this is going to be, <laughs> we'll put that on, on Gemini's birthday list or something. Not that we, you know, I, I give them a treat on the birthday. I'm not, not a big deal. It's fun. I have no problems with people that do, but we just, first of all, I don't have a lot of time. And would you stop shoving the camera? So, but maybe we'll put that on his list because that's, that'd be cool. I mean, and it looks nice and professional. So if I, for taking it with me down the road. So, well, I will add this on. Hope you enjoyed the extra little blurb, but I wanted to show you some of the pictures and obviously we skipped some months. There's some, I mean, they're all, they're all dogs or cute dogs, but yes, I showed you my favorites. So y'all have a good one and hopefully we will see you soon.